So you've been thinking about moving to Texas, but the weather with the tornadoes and the heat have you a little bit worried. Today, we're gonna talk all about the ups and downs of Texas weather. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Mandy Lenthicum, local real estate agent here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I post videos every single week about what it's like to live right here in Dallas-Fort Worth. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like so you can stay up to date every time a new video is posted. And as always, drop a comment if I can help you in any way with any of your Texas real estate needs, or you can find any of my contact information in the description right below. So let's jump right in with springtime in Texas. So the spring and summer are typically the months that I get the most questions and concerns about. In my opinion, springtime in Dallas-Fort Worth is one of the most beautiful times that you can visit. All of our wildflowers and blue bonnets line the highways, and the temperatures are mostly in the 60s and 70s. Now, springtime is also tornado season, and here in Dallas-Fort Worth, we sit right on the edge of what is known as Tornado Alley. Our biggest threat for spring storms are going to be in the months of April and May, with May being the rainiest month. But let me put tornadoes into a little bit better perspective. In my entire 34 years, I've lived all over Dallas-Fort Worth, and I've never been in a tornado. There have been tornado threats, and it's typical to have maybe two or three times a year where we do take cover. We may have a tornado warning or a watch, and we just really pay attention to the weather channel and kind of watch where the storm is headed. And some of those times we will take cover in an inside room without the windows or inside a closet. But out of everybody that I know in the area, maybe a handful of those people have actually experienced a tornado firsthand. Now that's not to say that it can't happen or it won't happen. So if that is a concern of yours, finding a home that already has a storm shelter installed or getting a home and installing either an underground storm shelter or a storm shelter inside a room or a garage is definitely an option that you might wanna consider. So if you are interested, drop me a comment or email me and I'll be happy to connect you with a local business that can do this for you. The thing that I feel like is more of a threat even than tornadoes around here is gonna be hail. And just in the last couple months, we have been pounded with hail multiple times and homes have definitely gotten new roofs, new windows, and had to have assessments from insurance companies. The last thing I wanted to note about springtime here in Dallas-Fort Worth is the wind. Now in the, I'd say April to early May months, it is really, really windy. And my family spends a lot of time outside during these months. And I always am sure to pack a hat and sunglasses to try to shield my face from some of the wind and a lot of the allergens that we have as well. Our local school districts typically let out around the last week of May into the first week of June. And that is when we really begin to see our summer temperatures heat up into the 90s. And we consider pool season officially started. However, I think most of us consider pool season to really begin towards the end of April, beginning of May. Most of our Dallas-Fort Worth summers consist of lots of water activities from lake trips to river trips to water parks, since most of our temperatures are going to stay between the 90s and 100s with high humidity. Many of the homes in the Metroplex do have pools, which you will be thankful for during those hot summer months, but you need to keep in mind that because of the high temperatures, the water will evaporate very quickly. So be prepared to fill your pool up at least twice a week. Moving on into fall, we start to feel the temperatures change slightly in mid-September. And then we really get the full effects of fall weather in the 80s once we get into October. Um, October is our rainiest month next to May. And we'll notice that by trick or treat, we're probably going to need a light jacket or a sweatshirt. Fall is definitely one of the best times of year to visit as you do have the cooler temperatures. You have tons of fall festivals and different activities as far as pumpkin patches. The trees start changing colors and it's really a beautiful time of year. Our fall temps usually continue through December and 
we may have a light dusting of snow around Thanksgiving and then come Christmas, we may have a 70 degree day here and there. So between October and December, you can definitely expect the temperatures to kind of jump up and down and you'll be in summer clothes one day and then your winter jacket the next. It isn't until January that we really start to see consistent winter temperatures. I think a misconception that a lot of people have about the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex is that it's warm year round. And that's just not the case. Even though our winters are just a short few months, it gets really, really cold. Now our streets and our community are just really not equipped to handle ice or snow. So as many of you saw back in February of 2021 this year, we get ice and it turns into catastrophic damages from power outages to uh, fatal accidents on the road. So if you are here and you, or you do live here during the months that we have ice, it's really just best to stay home if you're able. Overall, Dallas-Fort Worth weather is primarily warm most of the year. So if you enjoy warm weather over the cold like I do, this may be the place for you. Now, if I can answer any questions for you, or if I left out something about the Dallas-Fort Worth weather that you've experienced, feel free to drop a comment below. I would love to see what you have experienced or what you have to say. And of course, as always, subscribe to this video and give it a like if you found it helpful, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.